1602.30. It's amazing how little people know about the deep sea in general and that there are even corals in the deep sea that aren't in the shallow water reefs. It's really poorly understood. The more we learn about these deep sea corals, the more we realize that they're really central to a lot of ocean processes. They're uh, the base of the food chain for many organisms. They create these great habitats. You have a lot of associated fauna. And so they're more important to our ocean resources than potentially we even realize right now. It's our responsibility to conserve it and to maintain it. And that's a big driver for a lot of us at this conference, is to set out the science and to understand the systems so we can develop strategies for conservation for future generations. So we are meeting for the fifth international symposium on deep sea corals uh, and we are scientists from all over the world who work on uh, corals that live in the deep ocean and we're here to present the science that we've been doing for the last three years and it gives us a chance to meet and uh, see what everybody else is doing and form new collaborations. I think one of the main goals of the symposium is just to foster more of that collaboration, that communication, knowing what other projects are going on, what the latest research is, what it's telling us, and trying to map out the future of the field. So we are looking from different end members at the same system, and it's now to bring that together and to find the big picture of these fascinating ecosystems. The first thing is taxonomy. Everyone is confused about what's down there because most of us are bringing up things that we've never seen before. And we've gotten to the point now we can recognize the major groups, but you know, I'm basically an ecologist and you know, I bring up something and goes, this doesn't fit with anything else I've seen before. Particularly when you get down to four kilometers, everything is new. Yeah, big challenges, yes. I mean, um, we try to understand why the animals are where they are, but we don't know what they like in an environment. Do they like hot water, cold water, lots of food, lots of particles in suspension, high flow conditions or low flow conditions? Lots of the parameters which um, control an environment and the effect of the co on corals, we don't know yet. What we see, for instance, on the iris margin is that uh, during warm periods like we're in now, corals are flourishing and they, they, they form really nice reef systems. But what we also can see is that during colder periods, more than 11,000 years ago, uh, corals are gone. So we miss big bits of our sedimentary records during those periods because the corals were not there. One of the main questions is where did they go? And why did, do they come back to the same place all the time? We always find things we don't expect. <laughs> There's, a, as you say, this, this field is relatively new. We've only been studying these cold water corals for such a short period of time. And really, you know, even 10, 12, 15 years ago when I began, we would make the comparisons to shallow water tropical corals. And there are comparisons, but I think the more that we're learning, the more we realize they're actually very, very different. Well, I think if we keep the current rate of progress, we're growing exponentially. So the number of papers coming out that relate to deep sea or cold water corals, they're going up exponentially now. That's going to increase. The difficulty that we have is that at a lot of national levels, the economic situation across the world is dire. So what we have to do is work more collaboratively across international boundaries, not just across European Union member states, to form really integrated projects that make the maximum use of these precious taxpayer resources to answer really big questions. That's where we need to go. The fun part is just curiosity. I mean, it's all new, it's all new, new things you discover. It's like you find new things. That's really interesting. See, we don't know anything about it, and so the field is wide open. There's so much to be done. So it's our job as scientists to really try and understand it, to bring that to the public eye as well. So that's really where I see all of us aiming towards, is the preservation of these, uh, these important ecosystems. Thank you. Thank you.